All right, Shalom. I want to begin this lesson giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rakha Kudash, Yahweh being the true name of our Heavenly Father, who is what he calls God, and Yahweh Shah being the true name for our Lord and Savior. Bahasham is in the name of Rakha Kudash, is through the Holy Spirit. Also, want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and peace blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad uh back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of yahweh bashim al shah and uh lord willing this lesson is edifying don't want to make this lesson too long nor do i want to ramble but man just you know as earlier today you know being outside man and feeling the heat in this summer you know this you know we're currently quote unquote in the summer but hey this weather is kind of unprecedented you know it's like when it's around 12 1 2 during the day it's easily a hundred or more degrees man okay and through the spirit as i was meditating on that you know just imagine when them icbm nuclear missiles hit this place man and when i say this place i'm speaking about america because according to biblical prophecy babylon the great which is america will be burned by a hundred um a hundred billion or a hundred million icbm nuclear missiles all right due to world war three okay and the first scripture that i thought about was in the book of malachi all right malachi chapter four Malachi chapter 4 verse 1 And it reads for behold the day cometh That Let me read it again Malachi chapter 4 verse 1 For behold the day cometh That shall burn as an oven Okay And we're not speaking about these modern ovens You know in the ancient time The ovens that they had back then Were so hot That you would literally put Like a slice of bread In there for about a second or two and then you will take it out because it was so hot and i got this research from or i heard this from the elder apostle tahar all right so it's not really speaking about these modern ovens because now what you got to do with an oven you got to preheat it but again you know when you going back to them ancient all right ovens they were so hot you know and as i'm meditating on it you know, when you go outside, man, the heat, <laughs> you know, the heat, you start sweating, you know, you and your car, your car don't got AC right now, man. You know, you're going through it. But nevertheless, like the scripture says, it says, hey, that day coming. What day is that? That day is when Yahweh Shah, all right, when Yahweh Shah returns on the planet Earth, okay? Hence, all right, the beginning of his kingdom by default which be the kingdom of the israelites all right but the destruction of america has to happen first okay and it says again I, uh, malachi chapter 4 verse 1 for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud yeah and all that do wickedly shall be stubble you know all the proud starting with esau edom and all that do wickedly okay and that's starting with esau edom all right, but when you go into the book of Zechariah, the 13th chapter, it says two parts there, two parts therein shall cut off and die in them two parts. OK, when you compare it to a pie chart. OK, two parts, which is 66.6 uh, .6 of the nation of Israel on this side, like the scripture says, has to cut off and die. OK, for uh, their wickedness, for their disobedience. But the one third shall be left therein. And that's speaking about. All right. The, the elect. All right. And it says, in the day that cometh shall burn them up. You know, and I got a few articles, maybe one or two. All right, but there's heat, and we in South Florida, man. You know, you got to just imagine these different states that have dry heat. Because, you know, down south, we got humidity. When you go to like California, Arizona, Las Vegas, you know, they got dry heat. So with the dry heat, even though there ain't no humidity, so it may feel a little better. But when it gets hotter, 10, 
it, 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 you really feel it. You know, that's why, you know, they got those, uh, what was those, those fires in the forest because of that dry heat. But nevertheless, again, I got these, got two articles that I just want to go into because it said, hey, the all burned them up, man. You know, you got a lot of Jake complaining about this heat. But, hey, just think about the real heat, okay? You know, and a perfect example, if I may say, a perfect example is in the Terminator, the second movie. All right, where you had, um, if I'm not mistaken, Sarah Connor. Correct me if I get the name wrong. Really not too good with the names. But, you know, you had Sarah Connor on the fence when those nukes dropped. Man, she was burning. All right, she was burning. And it shows you that. Uh, when she was on the fence, her flesh burnt. It went all the way to her skull. Her skull even disintegrated, man. So that's the real fire, man. That's that real burn. You know, you got Jake complaining about the heat now. Hey, just imagine when those missiles drop, man. Okay? And the men of the Lord, Lord willing, would be a part of that number. All right? The men that the Heavenly Father through his only begotten son have ordained will come forth and warn you about those things which will happen. Like it says in Ezekiel, the third chapter, okay, it says, give them warning from me, okay? And we're giving you that warning from the Heavenly Father, all right? Babylon the Great, you know, will be destroyed. Babylon the Great is speaking about America in the scriptures, okay? And it says, said the Lord of hosts, which is the Heavenly Father, whose true name is Yahweh, that it shall not leave them neither root nor branch, because this place will be absolute stubble all right what's that one let's go to isaiah isaiah speaks about that man how this place absolutely being obliterated man okay let's see <laughs> okay this is isaiah chapter 13 verse 6 how ye for the day of the lord is at hand and this is what we heralding man not only are we heralding the coming to herald, okay? When you herald, you're making an, an announcement. You're making to be known, okay? Really like a presentation. And it says, For it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Again, who is the Almighty? The Almighty is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who this word ignorantly calls God. Verse 7, Therefore, therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt all right hey and this it's gonna be literally man you know verse eight um yo verse eight and they shall be afraid pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them they shall be in pain as a woman that travailed they shall be amazed at one another their faces shall be as flames you see their faces, their faces shall be as, as flames, man. And this is like a pre to Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, the strangeness of his salvation. But literally, a the heat is going to be felt, man. Okay. There's another one, consuming. I think that's in the book of Zechariah too. I'll try to look that one up. Okay. But it says their faces shall be as slain, man. Verse nine: Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce, fierce anger to lay the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners therefore out of it right malachi 4 and 1 are those that uh yeah all the proud and and and, and those that do wickedly shall be stubble a precept upon precept line upon line man that's how we supposed to hey, read these scriptures man okay try to jump down a little bit okay let me jump down a little bit Isaiah chapter 13, verse 20, and it says, it shall never be inhabited. And this is speaking about America. It will never be inhabited. All right, when you go to Isaiah, the 34th chapter, it speaks about how this place will be, all right, the, um, this place will be the, I'm trying to think of the worst stuff with the D, or this place will be really for foul creatures, scorpions, you know, things like that. But it says, nah, Salaki, let me start at verse 19. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 19. And Babylon is not talking about ancient Babylon. It's speaking about Babylon the Great, the rebirth. 
the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Shadi's excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And how did the heavenly how did the heavenly Father overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah? All right, by fire and brimstones, man. Okay, that's why it says, as in the days, as in the days of Lot, shall be in the days of the Son of Man. Okay. Verse 20, and it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in generations to generations, neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and the owls shall dwell there, and the satyrs shall dance there. Right. And the wild beasts of the island shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant place palaces, and her time is near to come. Her days shall, her days shall not be prolonged. Her time is near to come. The time is short for Babylon the Great, man. All right, and the Heavenly Father, Yahweh through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, is showing us that, man. Okay, He's showing us that via through these tokens. Tokens equal signs, man. Okay, but like how it says in Matthew the thirteenth chapter, blessed it, blessed are your eyes for they see, and for their ears. If that's the right one, if I'm not mistaken, but it says, nevertheless, it was given unto you to know the, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But unto them, it was not given, man. It was really a blessing. Okay. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. Hey, we are the privileged few. All right. The privileged few to understand what's going on. Okay. Now, let's see this one. It says, it is so hot in Arizona that pavements are giving people third degree burns, right? So again, Arizona has dry heat, or as to Florida, we got heat, but with the humidity, in a way it kind of balanced, not balanced, but you know, it's a little better. With dry heat, it's more so, you know, um, like it could be a hundred, it could be, 100 degrees outside and i experienced this you know when i went out to california man you know california will be 90 95 degrees and this was like 2019 a little long ago 2020 but it'll be about 90 95 degrees but it still feels you know if it has the wind blowing it doesn't feel too bad whereas in florida man it could be about 90 9500 degrees but it's so hot you know, because that humidity, okay, so whereas you're sweating and all that type of stuff, and that's the difference, right? And it says, for a record break in 20 days, Phoenix, Arizona has been dealing with temperatures exceeding 110 uh, Fahrenheit. The week, the week's long week, week wave, heat wave, forgive me, which broke a month's uh, municipal record set in 1974 has gotten so bad that residents are getting third degree burns after touching doorknobs and falling onto the pavement as of july 15th at least 18 people have died of heat associated causes in phoenix in 2023 damn 18 people from july 15th man okay and that's 110 degrees man just imagine that real fire just imagine that real heat all right so it called halam la yahweh bahashem yahweh shah double honor to the apostles and elders a great meal so now we will until the next time may shalom